4. Methods of Course Objective Assessment The course objectives can help us determine the most appropriate way for students to demonstrate what they've learned and consequently the methods we should adopt to assess them. Some of you may be concerned about using tests, quizzes, and the like that are often relied upon in face-to-face -face environments. The online environment is a significant shift away from the instructor as content deliverer to thinking of the instructor as a learning mentor. Consequently, assessment techniques should change to reflect that shift. You may want to experiment with other forms of evaluation. Rather than using tests, quizzes, and the like to assign grades, perhaps we could consider using them as a small part of the assessment process and, in large part, a tool for students to use to evaluate their own progress and to identify gaps in their knowledge. Consider making any test you administer open book and perhaps untimed. Setting this expectation for students will help communicate to them that they are responsible for learning and that your role is to facilitate that learning. What can we use to assess learning then if we're not using tests and quizzes? We could adopt techniques under the broad umbrella of authentic assessment approaches. Assessment is authentic when it depends on actual student performance on a complex task. It allows students to demonstrate mastery of the course objectives in ways that are rich, meaningful, and relevant to them. For example, you may require students to submit one-sentence summaries of complex topics or reading assignments, to use threaded discussions to discuss questions like, what was the most important thing you learned from this lesson? And, what important questions remain unanswered? You could ask them to draw concept maps, to submit paper prospectuses, to develop a portfolio that includes reflective writing, to design and experiment on a current issue, or write a music arrangement. Carefully crafted, authentic assessment techniques can head off the temptations to engage in academic dishonesty, and they can promote student learning of the course objectives and help you evaluate that learning.